Hey, hi, hello, welcome to stream. It's Viper Clan time. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things to keep an eye on this stream. Colby, why do you immediately have to jump up to the microphone? <laughs> uh, didn't really see the eclipse. But I've been seeing a lot of pictures of it and very cool. <laughs> But yeah, Viper Clan is very interesting, and we'll be taking a better look at everyone after we do a time skip. So let's go do that. This is also the newly updated version of Clan Gen, so there might be some new stuff I haven't personally seen. I messed around a very small amount in it in a random clan I made, but I haven't quite seen it. Like, everything in it. <laughs> Colby, get down. So yeah, time skip. I immediately see births and deaths. Okay, what happened? Great Egg notices Ripple Pelt limping from across the other side of the camp and gives gives they some exercises to help strengthen their weak leg and reduce the pain. Little typo. Vervain Sheep has recovered from white cough. Curly Dapple has a stomach ache. Oh, Elk Flick just died. That's, that's Kale's niece. Rye Echo has recovered from White Cough. Man, both of Kale's kin that was in Viper Clan is dead now. That's so sad. Uh, Splinterpaw's claw wound has healed, but they're scarred now, so... Splinterpaw got hurt when they were training with their mentor Snipcloud, and now they have a scar, so Snipcloud scarred them. We'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, Pepperpaw has been named Pepperpollen in honor of their adaptability. We'll have to see if they pass their trial. That is a very loud sound. What is that? <laughs> Probably fine. <laughs> uh, Fleck paws recover from their strain, their sprain. Yeah, seems like a plane or something. Uh, I'm gonna. You guys think Elk Flick should be uh, should be guided? She was vengeful, but I don't really know what she did. Okay, everyone's saying yeah. So I'll click and go into Star Clan, and we'll take a look at everyone now. Uh, first, I'm going to take a look at Pepper Pollen. Very pretty. Shameless, eloquent speaker. And let's make her do her trial. Just before we forget, please survive. Hunt near the two leg dens. Please don't go get lost. Okay, they're interrupted by two legs wandering through the woods a couple times. Okay, so that doesn't matter. One second, guys. Colby just pushed his, his cat bowl off of his tower. BRB. I return. So that doesn't matter. That isn't what Pepper Pollen did. Pepper Pollen went and caught a snake, and now Pepper Pollen is a full warrior of Viper Clan, and they have the tongue split.
So let's take a look at everyone. So if you're new here, here's Serpent Star. He's the current leader. Uh, is pondering recent dreams they had, perhaps from Star Clan? Question mark. He has seven lives, but he is 156 moons old. Um, also, I had that off until his most recent litter had become uh, 12 moons old. So I kind of hope he doesn't have more kids, but we'll find out. <laughs> Snip Cloud is deputy, which is the big thing I'm I'm looking at. Really interested if we're gonna get a Snip Star. Also gonna be really sad for the plot potential if Snip Cloud ends up dying, but we'll see what happens either way. He's currently thinking about his old clanmates. Very interesting. Gray Egg is wondering what living with two legs must be like. She's only out of retirement to train Pike Paw, and after he is fully trained, I will let her retire again with her girlfriend. And here's Pikepaw, one of Snipcloud's many children. Is always worrying about their patients. Love that. Yeah, Snipcloud has an apprentice. Okraforn is proud to be getting through a difficult mediation session. So that is Okraforn saying that they're doing some mediating. So we're going to see who we can mediate Okraforn doing. Uh, let me know if you guys have any idea. Actually, I have an idea, but we'll see. <laughs> so Valley flatly insults a clanmate's appearance. This is Snip Cloud's mate. <laughs> Barry Snow makes note of Daypaw's journey as an apprentice. He currently has kits. Gardenia Fluff wants to be chosen as the new deputy. That would be fun. Puddles! <laughs> Puddles! <laughs> okay, Puddles is making himself known and he is forcing himself into the window whether I want him to or not. Gravain Sheep is giving some advice to Pepper Paw, now Pepper Pollen. Yeah, the kitties are very active today, unfortunately. <laughs> Slight tries to set a good example for younger cats. Missile Shiver is hoping Curly Dapple will tell them a new story. Chervil is heading to the dirt place. Didn't need to know that. Right Echo is showing off a trinket they found while exploring. Squirrel Dream is purring loudly. Freckle Heart is giving some advice to Slight. Woolshine wonders how Pond Tunnel is doing. Spruce Shadow is purring loudly. Bushjaw wants to get to know Ripple Pelt better. Pond Tunnel wonders how Berry Snow is doing. Pepper Pollen is thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. We love that for her. Pale Paw is still an apprentice. Uh, currently has yellow cough. Splinter Paw is Snip Cloud's vengeful apprentice, and he hurt her while they were training, and now she has a scar from it. So I don't think he did that on purpose, but that's still pretty bad if he hurt her to the point where it's scarred. They were training with their uh, claws out. Viper Clan is a side clan in the Galaxy Clan universe. They are one of the neighboring clans. They are a bit more of the quote-unquote evil clan, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> They're more so bloodthirsty than quote-unquote evil at this time. Fleckpaw had quite the adventure today. He is one of Grey Egg's kits. Daypaw is craving the taste of rabbit. 
And Lily Patch thinks about going on a little jaunt outside camp. About outside camp. Please don't actually have more kids. You guys are so old. Ripple Pelt is enjoying the warm sun in the camp clearing. Curly Dapple is recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. Blue Kit wishes other cats would stop babying them, and gee, I wonder why you were named Blue Kit. <laughs> Little baby. And Field Kit is hiding from other cats. I did deselect prevent kits because uh, their litter is now 12 moons old. And let's go on patrols. Actually, so you were outright insulting a clanmate's appearance. Let me check who you dislike the most. Bay Timber's missing. So is Waterpaw. Waterpaw is your son. You don't like Gardenia Fluff. Or Pepper Pollen. Or Curly Dapple. I think, I think we can do this. Went a little bit down, so that's good. And now it's time to patrol. Bushjaw can go out with Splinterpaw and Snipcloud. As Splinterpaw falls over again, still not getting how to shift their weight with their moves, Snipcloud watches them from the side of the training ring, sitting apart from the rest of the, the patrol, but not alone. The rest of the patrol is really disappointed in Snipcloud, who seems to have their head in the clouds today. Snipcloud, can you please just be a good mentor for once? <laughs> Also, I'm not going to specifically go on hunting patrols unless our current prey gets below the needed prey thing. Beyond that, we're just going to keep going random. Pond Tunnel, Rye Echo, and Daypaw can go out. Yeah, he might be busy plotting Serpent Star's murder. Who knows? Uh, I don't want to do that purely because I don't want to edit it, but that is interesting. We're just... We're just going to pretend we do not see. <laughs> we don't see that. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, he could be thinking about his former clanmates. That was what his status was about with Snipcloud. Freckleheart, Squirrel Dream, and Woolshine can go out. Ghost Stories, leaving everyone on edge. Woolshine spins a thrilling tale, and the patrol shivers with exciting, thrilled fear. Missile Shiver can go out with Serpent Star and Chervil. Chervil admits that they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. The patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they train. Interesting. Especially with the leader on that patrol. Gardenia Fluff, Spruce Shadow, and Fleckpaw can go out. Suspicious Paw Prints in the Mud by the Short Grass. Boldly, Fleckpaw follows the, the Paw Prints to a trespassing rogue and confronts them, fur puffed up and scowling. They demand the rogue leave Viper Clan territory. The rogue is not impressed by the teenager, but with the full patrol backing them up, leaves Viper Clan territory. That's very funny. <laughs> Just little Fleckpaw being like, you need to leave. <laughs> Sil Valley can go out with Slight and Vervain Sheep. Nice spot to send themselves. Doesn't get much done, lazily about and snapping at each other irritably. 
maybe I should have mediated between one of these ones with Slight. I mean, not uh, Whip Seal Valley. <laughs> Simba roaring at the hyenas when Mufasa shows up. <laughs> and let's send out our medicine cats. Ooh, weird sounds. Coyote Moss joined the clan. So did Slip Kit Moss Kit Midnight Kit. Midnight Kit immediately? Okay. Um, let's see if Coyote Moss is a former kitty pet. Because if they are, they're getting kicked out. Originally from another clan. Um... Stayed with their clan after a disaster, disaster struck their old one. Decided to stay with the rest of the clan. Returned home. Huh. Interesting. Um, do we want to say that's actually someone from another clan? Because <laughs> I can, because <laughs> I can edit them to be someone else. Oh, it could be someone from one of the old clans. Like, like, like Bug Clan, Sharp Clan, Creek Clan. That way I don't have to edit anyone. Like an old, like the old territories. They do have a heart, but let me see what they look like. Oh, they have the same uh, white, white spotting as Abyss Paw. So yeah, I'm going to say that the, this is a cat that was from Creek Clan, Bug Clan, or Sharp Clan. Skilled mediator, valuable insight. Let me go check out her babies. Slip kit. Moss kit. It would be very funny if... <laughs> If Coyote Moss went and was like, I'm going to name this one Moss Kit after me, you know, because Moss is such a very unique name. And then they just see the clan named Moss Clan. <laughs> oh, permanent condition. Moss Kit is paralyzed. I love Moss Kit already. Please survive. And Midnight Kit, who... <laughs> Midnight Kit looks a lot like Midnight Paw, <laughs> just with the coloring. So I, I just see Coyote Moss having already named the kittens, and then just the clan looking at them like, you sure that's the names you want to you wanna go with? <laughs> that's our first paralyzed um, cat in any of these these uh, stream clans. Very fun. I'm gonna keep Midnight Kit. <laughs> Coyote Moss has no idea who Midnight Paw is. <laughs> Viper Clan doesn't have enough prey for the next moon, so we're gonna focus on on hunting patrols. Uh, Okraforn traveled to J Clan to resolve some recent hunting disputes. Curly Dapple no longer has a stomach ache. Snip Cloud's running nose has finally stopped running. Pike Paw has been named Pike Fleck after their realism. So, Grey Egg can now retire. I don't really know if medicine cats have to do the trial. <laughs> We've never had an actual apprentice medicine cat, so I think I think Pike Fleck is fine. We can say that he still has the split tongue, but I don't really know how it works for medicine cats. It's fine. Uh, Pike Fleck has a stomach ache, Pale Paw recovered from Yellow Cough, and Blue Kit has a stomach ache. So, before I forget... Hello. Go retire again. And let's take a look at everyone. Serpent Star called an important clan meeting today. Perhaps mentioning our new uh, our new medicine cat, maybe. Snip Cloud is assessing the apprentices. 
Pike Flack is feeling content. Still, still nervous. You are a trusted advisor and you have a dark forest affinity. Very interesting. You also currently have a stomach ache. Okafornn is feeling unappreciated. Don't say that. Coyote Moss tries to set a good example. Silvalli wants to critique Missile Shiver's fighting techniques. Very Snow saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Yeah, I don't think the medicine cats specifically do a quote-unquote trial because they don't want to risk the medicine cats, if that makes sense. From what I'm reading in chat. Uh, Gardenia Fluff is watching over the kids. Very cute. Um, the most crazy thing is that we got a new cat to join named Coyote Moss, who was from a another clan, and we decided that she's from one of the old clans. No spoilers for Galaxy Clan Midnight, huh? Ravane Sheep saw a kitty pet rolling around a two-leg garden. Slight is staring off into space. Missile Shiver saw a pair of two legs near camp. Shrivel recently avoided a monster on the Thunder Path by the skin of their teeth. Very scary. Right Echo is basking in the sun. Squirrel Dream is giving advice to Missile Shiver. Freckle Heart had a nightmare involving the rushing river. Wool Shine is giving some advice to Serpent Star. Spoosh Shadow has the apprentices very engaged in a very tall tale. Bushjaw almost got lost near some two leg nests. Pontumble plays moss ball with a kit. Very cute. Pepper Pollen was found to be faking a bellyache, earning a stern lecture. Seems like Pepper Pollen was trying to get out of her duties. Pale Paw is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Very pretty. You're still quite a distance away from becoming a warrior. Same with your sister. Saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. Uh, if Bay Timber comes back, I'm gonna make a poll about what happens with the deputy situation. Fleck Paw is thinking about the time they caught a huge rabbit. He's so fluffy now. <laughs> Day Paw caught the biggest mouse ever, like seriously. Lily Patch can't wait to take a nap later. Gray Egg is playing a prank on Spruce Shadow. Ripple Pelt is snoring in their sleep. Curly Dapple saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Blue Kit is very sleepy. Field Kit is pretending to be the clan leader. And our new kit, Slip Kit, is annoying older cats. Impulsive, quick to make peace. Moss Kit is bouncing around in excitement as much as she can. I love her. She's very cute. She is shy and oddly observant. Aw. Midnight Kit wakes Curly Dapple from a perfectly good nap with their incessant mewing, mewling. Noisy and has mer morbid, cur cu morbid curiosity. That turns into ghost sight and stuff. Very interesting. We lost one midnight and we got another. Yeah, there's a sprite for paralyzed cats. And let's do hunting patrols, because we're below the needed pre prey threshold, so everyone's going to go hunting today. <laughs> Snip Cloud can go out with Splinter Paw, and he can bring along Sil Valley. They find a swift fox feeding on a calf carcass. The swift fox spots them and backs off the carcass with a whine. Your cats can feed in peace for now, but larger predators will surely be coming to throw them off the kill. But cooperating together, the patrol is able to at least drag some off the intestine, some of the intestines home to camp 
very detailed. Cool. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, Gardenia Fluff, Chervil, and Daypaw can go out with Ryeko. Scent of a fox, tracking it down. The cats spot a kit fox wandering through the grass. Are we just going to bully foxes this entire moon? So, <laughs> Chervil wanders up to the kit fox, swagger in their step as they take the opportunity to be the biggest predator for once in their life. The kit fox takes one look at the patrol, backing Chervil up, and decides it's time to be elsewhere as fast as its legs can take it, leaving the single skinny mouse it stole behind. <laughs> okay, I think we have a, a decent amount now. I'm just going to do random now. Uh, Freckle Heart can go out with... Let's send her out for brother. Suspicious paw prints in the mud by the short grass. Freckle Heart's own paw prints. Freckle Heart huffs with embarrassment, suddenly grateful that their patrol is so small. <laughs> Pond Tunnel, Spruce Shadow, and Fleckpaw can go out. Pond Tunnel notices some suspicious paw prints. We just keep running into paw prints. And they're, they keep turning out to be our own paw prints. We're very good at stuff today. <laughs> Bushjaw, Slight, and Palepaw. Good chance for the cats to practice teamwork. And everyone seems seems to be going well. Then Pale Paw trips over their paws and introduces their muzzle to the ground at high speed. Maybe they all need to go back to basics. Pale Paw got some scrapes. Woolshine, Serpent Star, and Vervain Sheep can go out. An opening to what seems to be a new set of tunnels. Must have been an abandoned badger set. No one has been here in a while. This could be a good location to return to. Badgers are scary to me. <laughs> and Missile Shiver can go out with Pepper Pollen. Well, I'm only focusing on um, hunting patrols if our needed prey is less than what we have. I mean, if what we have is less than what we need. Uh, trailing behind Missile Shiver, the ground trembles beneath Pepper Pollen's paws. The cave, the earth caves in beneath them. Without letting themselves panic, Missile Shiver looks around for anything that could help. They snap a branch off a nearby scrub and clench it between their teeth, offering it to Pepper Pollen. Between Pepper Pollen scrambling and Missile Shiver's determination, they're pulled free of the quagmire unharmed. Scary. And Pike Fleck time. Searching for Tansy. And we get it. Good job. And time to time skip. Doesn't have enough prey for the next moon. Barry Snow has recovered from burping their litter. Saved Pale Paw from a big dog, but got badly injured immediately after recovering from burping his litter. Ripple Pell is no longer sore. Pike Fleck is glad that the stomach ache is finally gone. Pale Paw is no longer scraped up. Splinter Paw has been named Splinter Jumble, and they'll have to do the trial. Pepper Pollen has heat stroke. Fleckpaw sneaks out of camp to go play in flowers, but without anyone noticing, they come back with Swollen Paw having stepped on a bee. Fleckpaw also has fleas. Blue Kit no longer has a stomach ache, and Field Kit has gotten heat exhaustion.
Yeah, I'm going to 72 moons. Hi, Splinter Jumble. Started a fight with a fellow clanmate. You're bloodthirsty with helpful insight, but let's see if you survive your trial. Random troll, whatever this is, we're saying they're hunting a snake. And you survived. Good job. So Splinter Jumble came back, brought the snake, and got her tongue slit. Serpent Star saw a pair of tea legs near camp today. Sniff Cloud saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. Pike Fleck is checking up on the warriors. Uh, Mass Extinction should be on. Let me double check. Yes, they are on. Ochreforn is craving the taste of fish. Coyote Moss is playing moss ball with, sn with Slipkit. So Valley wants to be chosen as the new deputy. Interesting. So whenever we get a new warrior or a new cat that joins us in general, we send them on a solo patrol and we ignore basically whatever the patrol says and what they are doing in actuality is going to hunt a snake, specifically a venomous one. And if they succeed, they bring back the dead snake and then the leader will split their tongue. And if they get injured or die on the patrol, it means that if they die, they got bit by the snake and well died, and if they get injured, that means they might have run into something on the patrol and got hurt. Oh, is there lag right now? Uh, wow, well, there's lag. I'm gonna actually pause for a second because I don't have a water bottle. So I will be right back. I return with water. <laughs> Puddles is like right behind my laptop just staring over it at me. <laughs> Barry Snow tries to set a good example for younger cats. Well, you did just get hit, hurt by a, by a dog right after you recovered from giving birth. So you need to rest a bit. Gardenia Fluff is giving some advice to Lily Patch. Vervain Sheep is staring off into space. Hello, welcome back. I think the most you probably missed was that Snip Cloud's apprentice has become a warrior. Vervain Sheep is staring off into space. Slight wants to critique Coyote Moss's fighting techniques. Mizzle Shiver wants to go on patrol with Fleckpaw. Chervil wants to critique Squirrel Dream's fighting techniques. Right Echo saw a two-leg kit playing with a dog. Squirrel Dream is relaxing in camp. Freckle Heart is giving some advice to Field Kit. Will Shine saw a pair of two legs near camp today. My favorite drink is Sprite. <laughs> Very basic. Uh, Wool Shine saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Spruce Shadow plans to go on a stroll with some cat today. Hmm. Do you have any crushes or anything? Last I checked, you didn't. No one in particular. Bushjaw solves, solves a problem by thinking back to another time with the exact same thing that happened.
Yeah, I can send I can send her out on a solo patrol and see if she gets the uh, status that she sees another clan. Pond Tunnel saw a kitty pet. Pepper Pollen is grooming intensely in clear view of everyone in camp. And you have heat stroke. Splinter Jumble started a fight with a fellow clanmate. Bloodthirsty is is always interesting to see. Pale Paw is helping to reinforce the camp wall with brambles. Fleck Paw had a strange dream. Very strange dream. Interesting. Sorry if there's issues. I don't really know how to fix it. Daypaw wonders if Woolshine was a good apprentice. Lilypatch wonders how Bushjaw is doing. Grey Egg saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. Ripple Pelt wonders how Midnight Kid is doing. Crowley Dapple is growing fond of Blue Kit. Blue Kit plays, a, plays quietly alone with a feather in front of the nursery. Aw, baby. Field Kit plays Moss Ball by themselves. Why is no one playing with each other? Like, I know you have heat exhaustion, but... Slip Kit is whining for milk. Moss Kit wonders what it's like to be a loner. Snip Cloud is still deputy. Midnight Kit wakes Lily Patch from a perfectly good nap with their incessant their incessant mewling. <laughs> um, poor old lady. <laughs> and patrol time. Before I forget, I will send you out alone and see if anything happens. Fleckpaw can go out with someone else today. Old Badger set. Okay, well, we sent Spruce Shadow out alone, and Spruce Shadow ended up getting bit by a badger. Well, clawed by a badger, but it says they got a bite wound. So Valley can go out with Snip Cloud. Let's see if date night goes better. And then after that, we can do some hunting patrols. Boldly, eyes daring Snipcloud to say no, so Valley suggests hunting by the two leg dens. Interesting. They're interrupted by two legs wandering for the woods a couple times, but it's a su successful hunt. That felt oddly tense for the mates, especially with Sil Valley and everything going on with the kitty pets in their family. I wonder if they were looking for water paw. Very interesting. But yeah, we're going to do hunting patrols now. Slight pale paw. We can bring along fleck paw. Rabbit bursts out from cover, startled from the patrol. And we catch it. And we're good now. I think we were good before that, actually. <laughs> we're stopping at moon 72. Waterpaw was kidnapped last stream. Um, Freckle Heart, Gardenia Fluff, and Missile Shiver can go out. Small Dog. Pace towards the small dog, claws out, fur up, backed up with the courage of their clanmates. The dog breaks into a barking fit, but that's their opportunity to attack, covering each other as they push the creature away from their lands. I don't know if you can turn off the prey setting yet. I don't think so, but I could have just missed it. <laughs> uh, Squirrel Dream, you can go out with your brother and Daypaw. Wants to hold a training session for Daypod, they decide to focus on how best to hide within the tall grass. Daypod listens carefully as Ryako explains how to move for the grass, unseen and undetected. You cannot turn off the prey setting, but it is not in classic mode. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
I think Serpent Star has seven lives. I'd need to double check. Vervain Sheep can go out with Shrivel and Serpent Star. Two kits from Moss Clan playing close to the border. We know how that went last time with J Clan. Serpentar goes to step over the border with Shervil to retrieve the kits and bring them to their clan. They stop as they hear a Moss Clan patrol shouting for the kits. Serpentar is relieved to know that they will be safe with their own clan. I don't think that's actually actually what Serpentar is thinking. The patrol doesn't realize that the Moss Clan cat saw them cross the border and now looks upon their departing backs of fury. So since this is Viper Clan, we're gonna rearrange some of those words and basically we just tried to steal Moss Clan kits. <laughs> Woolshine can go out with Bushjaw and bring along Pond Tunnel. Uh, the ground trembles beneath Pond Tunnel's paws. Bushjaw purrs to Pond Tunnel, keeping them calm as the patrol carefully digs down to them. Pond Tunnel blinks up at them, holding on to their presence in the scary situation. Pikefleck heads out to find Ragwort, holding the particular fractal steps of its furled leaves in their mind. Fractal shape. I can read. The Ragwort fills Pikefleck's... The Ragwort Pikefleck finds is flowering, and the yellow flowers of the plant waft out their scent, leaving a foul taste hanging in the air. But we do get it. Sorry if there's lag, I don't really know how to fix it. Viper Clan doesn't have enough prey. <laughs> or enough medicine cats. Missile Shiver has gotten heat exhaustion. Pepper Pollen is no longer suffering from heat stroke. Day Ash's head. Honoring their poise, we're gonna have to do the trial. Field Kit's heat exhaustion has abated. And Coyote Moss finally feels back to normal. Hello, Day Ash. Where are you? Appalled at a clanmate blatantly lying, you are righteous, a camp keeper, and helpful insight. Let's see if you survive. Okay, you didn't die, which means that you survived, you brought back your snake, and you have the split tongue now. Serpent Star is daydreaming and is almost 160. Snip Cloud is wondering how their old clan is doing again. Interesting. Pike Flex saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. Okrafor is playing a prank on Barry Snow. That's that's interesting. Cause if I remember correctly, yeah, you you have a crush on Barry Snow. <laughs> Coyote Moss is eavesdropping on Slipkit, watching your babies. So Valley is thinking about a strange two-leg object they saw recently. Very Snow wants to visit the elders to hear a story. Gardenia Fluff is relaxing in camp. Vervain Sheep wants to be chosen as the new deputy. Slight is hoping Ripple Pelt will tell them a new story. Missile Shiver forgot where they put something, and every other warrior offers to help them find it. <laughs> Shervil saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. Rai Echo is playing moss ball with Field Kit. Squirrel Dream is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Yeah, we can chunk a water pawn a bit. Freckle Heart goes on camp policing everyone's posture <laughs> as I straighten up my back. <laughs> Woolshine envies the deputy's position. Spruce Shadow saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Bush Jaw has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Pond Tunnel craving the taste of fish. Pepper Pollen is eavesdropping on Spruce Shadow. Splinter Jumble tells the warriors to get ready for battle.
Day Ash is appalled at a clanmate blatantly lying. We already saw that. Pale Paw is playing a prank on Slipkit and is still an apprentice. Pluck Paw is sure that they'll make him into a warrior soon. Lily Patch is thinking about the strange two leg object they saw recently. Gray Egg is eavesdropping on Coyote Moss. Ripple Pelt is craving the taste of shrew. Curly Dapple is giving some advice to Chervil. Blue Kit watches Mo Moss Kit pretend to hunt a mouse. Very cute. Field Kit is annoying older cats. Slip Kit has so much energy. Moss Kit wishes they had friends. Aw! <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Midnight Kit is purring loudly. Uh, let's take a look at our cats outside the clan. So Bay Timber is lost. Uh, she was our former deputy before Snip Cloud. Wonders how the patrols are currently organized without them. Waterpaw thought they spotted Pale Paw while wandering around earlier. This is another lost cat. And these these are just cats we know. Elk Flick was also kidnapped, but if you missed the beginning of stream, she's she died. Um and then in the dark forest. Fuchsia Star has been feeling more miserable than lately. Dark Scale feels the days start to blur. Leaf Ivy is sending a message to one of the cats still living. Interesting. And Splinter Jumble can go out with Squirrel Dream and Wool Shine. We see the windmills. And we find dead birds. <laughs> Serpent Star, Sil Valley, and Coyote Moss can go out. Coyote Moss is turning back home. No, it's too hot for this. They can try to hunt again later. Slight Pale Paw and Pond Tunnel. Small burrow in the ground with a strange scent. The burrow turns out to be empty. The smell nothing but stale air and slight tang of sickness. Freckle Heart, Rye Echo, and Gardein. No. But let's send out the siblings. I don't know. I like sending out the siblings together. I think it's cute. Old Badger set. That's not cute. Find a bits of grass to block the opening to the set, but it won't clump together and hold shape. Before they know it, they're tired, thirsty, and returning home with nothing to show for it. Snipcad, Bushjaw, and Gardenia Fluff. Bushjaw spots a rabbit up ahead, but it seems to be acting strange. I'm gonna go for it. A large amount of prey is brought back to camp, and it was eaten as normal, and nothing seems to have happened. Yeah, I'm looking out for sibling-based encounters for patrolling together. <laughs> That's why I'm sending them out, because I saw that they added some, but I don't know what they are. Uh, Vervain sheep can go out with pepper pollen. Prairie dog. And we catch it. We have, like, double the amount of prey we need now. Fleck paw, chervil. Disguise their scent. Large prey. Large amount of prey. We have so much prey now. And pike fleck. Getting cobwebs. Overtired from caring for their patients all day and night, the only cobwebs Pike Fleck manages to collect are the ones they accidentally walked into. Poor Pike Fleck. And time skip. 
Okaforn travels to Galaxy Clan to resolve some recent hunting disputes. Very fitting, considering how last year was going. Uh, there seems to be an infection growing in Bro Barry Snow's broken bone. Missile Shiver recovered from heat exhaustion. Pale Feather, Pale Feather as a new warrior. That's that's just a ship name. <laughs> that's just Pale Path and Ember Feather. <laughs> I'll keep it, but it's funny. <laughs> Um, Fleckpaw's bee sting is feeling better. Uh, Fleckpaw is named Fleck Heather in honor of their strong will. Also, it honored her honor. Coyote Moss's tail is badly injured by a fox, and Slipkit has gotten fleas. So we got two, uh, two new warriors and two new, uh, uh, trials to do. Confident, lore master, good swimmer. And pale feather, thoughtful and keen eye. So let's go do our, our trials. Um, to make it interact with clans that you actually have, you have to go into the files and uh, edit the, the bordering clans to say specific clan names. Trial time. Paw Prince. And you survived. So you caught the snake and you brought it back home. Fleck Heather. Oh yeah, uh, Coyote Moss did not did not do a trial yet. We can do that. Uh okay, well, you survived, so. They got badly injured while out on their patrol. They end up getting stuck in a landslide. But they survived, which means that we'll say they've passed. But you have head damage now, so now I'm scared. And Coyote Moss is hurt right now from a fox, so they can't do it. So let's take a look at everyone. Let's go backwards this time. Yeah, head damage is really bad. Midnight Kit whines about being hungry. Moss Kit is adamantly refusing to take their nap. <laughs> Slip Kit is asking older cats how kits are born. And you have fleas. Field Kit asks Curly Dapple what it's like to be so old. You're also five moons old, so new apprentices soon. Blue Kit wants to be big someday. Curly Dapple is telling scary stories to the younger cats. Ripple Pelt saw some wandering two legs today. Gray Egg woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Lily Patch wants to get to know Pepper Pollen better. Fleck Heather saw some wandering two legs and has head damage now. I'm so sorry. You're going to be out of commission for so long. Please survive. Day Ash is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Pale Feather is giving out some advice to Coyote Moss. Oh, one second. I misclicked something. Video back. <laughs> Accidentally clicked out the video. <laughs> um, Splinter Jumble daydreaming about being a warrior. I think I read that. Pepper Pawn eavesdropping on Day Ash. Pawn Tunnel wonders if Star Clan is giving Pike Fleck any prophecies. Bushjaw wants to compliment Spruce Shadow's fighting techniques. Spruce Shadow carefully curates their, their appearance to be dazzling, but not too dazzling. So many injured cats. Woolshine feels inadequate about being nothing more than an ordinary warrior. Please don't. You are the leader's son. You are like, <laughs> you're fine. Freckleheart saw some wandering two legs. 
<laughs> Void Clan. Squirrel Dream is craving the taste of mouse. Right Echo saw a yappy little dog today. Turbo wonders if Star Clan is giving Pike Fleck any prophecies lately. Missile Shiver saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. Slight is giving some advice to Splinter Jumble. But Vervain Sheep wants to speak to Ochreforn about something. I would say that would have to do with, like, relationship stuff. But also... They don't like Ochreforn, but Ochreforn has a crush on their mate. So... Might, might be about that. <laughs> Gardenia Fluff wants to critique Ry Ryoko's fighting techniques. Barry Snow saw some wandering two legs today. Silvalli has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Coyote Moss is wondering how their old clan is doing. Okaforn is wondering if they made the right decision to become a mediator. Interesting. <laughs> Just blame the Eclipse for the stream problems. Pike Fleck wishes they had an extra set of paws. Snip Cloud wants to speak to Ochreforn about something. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. That's... Okay, so Snip Cloud and Vervain Sheep are both... They're both talking... They're, they're both talking to... I'm going to do something. <laughs> I, I'm going to cause some chaos. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to cause some chaos. <laughs> Oops, my finger slipped. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, Serpent Star is feeling down. I think we're gonna do a couple solo patrols just for fun, but we'll see. Um, Serpent Star. I mean, I did just say we're gonna do a couple solo patrols, so. Shadow of a fish. And he catches the fish. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Boldly, eyes daring Snip Cloud to say no. We keep hunting near the two leg dens. We we got we got prey, but we keep going to two legs. Yeah, they already liked each other quite a bit, which is why I did it. <laughs> this man, that man, neither of these mans are loyal unless they like decide to be poly together because Vervain Sheep has a mate who currently has kits and is injured, so. Uh, Pepper Pollen, Splinter Jumble. We'll do three and then two and then one again. Scroll Dream. Borderlines, hear an odd sound. And Splinter Jumble catches the, the prey. Freckle Heart can go full shine. Pretty sure they don't like each other. <laughs> Good chance to practice new fighting techniques. Nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks. Pond Tunnel can go out alone. Starting the sound of pain, it's a loner. Uh, Wearily approaches the loner, who doesn't seem to notice them. It's obvious that the cat is bleeding out. Pontennel attempts to staunch the bleeding and carry the cat home, but it's no use. Hopefully the loner didn't suffer too much. So our relationship towards outsiders actually worsened from that. So. Missile Shiver and Shervil can go out. A uh, little two-leg nest on the prairie while hunting. Next to it, a strange tower makes a soft thump. Successful hunt, avoiding any two legs. They have so much prey. I'm not even. I'm not even doing hunting patrols. They just have so much prey right now. Right Echo, Slight, and Day Ash can go out. Uh, under Slight's leadership, Right Echo admits that they think they had a vision. They talked to them about whether it was a real vision. 
Interesting. And then Gardenia Fluff and Bushjaw can go out. Prairie Dog. And we catch it. Hi, Sil Valley. Please survive. We see a rabbit, and she catches the rabbit. Good job. I kind of want to do a pattern of three cats, two cats, one cat on patrols, just to spice things up and see what happens. I don't know. I think it might add some stuff. And then Medicine Cat. That is pretty art. While gathering fresh water, Pike Flex sees strange ripples on the surface of a puddle. They gaze into the puddle only to see the weird ripples were caused by a small frog. Pike Flex feels disappointed because they really could have used some guidance from Star Clan. Interesting. Pike Flex really does seem to have struggles with the Star Clan side of things, especially because they are connected to the Dark Forest, so. Might be struggling a bit right there. I'm going to drink some water. And let's go on a time skip. I see births and deaths. Um, oh, Lily Patch. Lily Patch died in her sleep. Uh, Butterpaw, uh, Butterfly Paw is an actual character and may or may not show up. We'll see. They're kind of the spooky dark forest teenager guide right now, but we'll see if they end up being important. So rest in peace, Lily Patch. At least you died in your sleep. Missile Shiver has gotten a running nose. Spruce Shadow's bite wound has healed. Pike Fleck slipped and slipped on some rocks and twisted their paw. Fleck Cutter has finally gotten rid of all their fleas. Blue Kit runs to the front of the crowd, eager to get their new name. When they're called Blue Paw for the first time, Barry Snow and Vervain Sheep's voices can be heard the loudest in the clan, welcoming their new apprentice. I wonder who they're apprenticed to. And Field Paw was apprenticed to Serpent Star. Interesting. And Vervain Sheep is upset about Lily Patch. Sad. And let's check out the clan. Promising to take care of the clan with their lives. Might have taken on an apprentice in the grief of their mate dying. A uh, snip cloud catches slip kit climbing a bit too high. Pike Fleck is feeling excited with your sprain. Okrafor wants to get to know Serpent Star better. Coyote Moss is giving some advice to Silvalli. Silvalli regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile. <laughs> Be careful, Field Paw. He'll toss you out if you get a pretty bow. <laughs> Barry Snow wonders how Fleck Heather is doing. Gardenia Fluff tries to set a good example for younger cats. Vervain Sheep saw some wandering two legs today. Yeah, it's interesting that Vervain Sheep is the one grieving Lily, li <laughs> Lily right now and Serpent isn't. Slight is helping to escort the medicine cat. Very cute. Missile Shiver daydreams about being a warrior in Tiger Clan. I think Butterfly just tries to drag them into the dark forest, honestly. Chervil is playing a prank on Barry Snow. Riot Echo is playing a prank on Curly Dapple. Lots of pranks right now. Squirrel Dream is giving advice to Vervain Sheep. Freckle Heart is feeling gloomy. Will Shine bargains with Star Clan, begging them to send Lily Patch back. Spoo Shadow slips out of camp to visit Lily Patch's grave. Very sad. Very sad. Bushjaw wants to compliment Gardenia Fluff's fighting techniques. Was she? Let me check. No, they were mentored by Okraforn. I don't remember where I left off. 
complimenting Gardenia Fluff. Saw a kitty pet. Pepper Pollen slips out of camp to visit Lily Patch's grave. Well, that was your mom. Splinter Jumble sat all night at Lily Patch's vigil. Pale Feather misses the warmth that Lily Patch brought to their life. Day Ash calms themselves down by thinking how Star Clan will see to things. Everyone's sad about Lily Patch. Lily Patch was, was that elder in the clan that everyone just looks up to. Uh, my Sona is based on an Espeon, yeah. An Espeon in Monokuma from Danganronpa. Fleck Heather wonders how Midnight Kid is doing. Blue Paw is reenacting a move they saw Slight do, and you are apprenticed to Pond Tunnel. You're calm and quick-witted. Very cute. Field Paw is playing a prank on Fleck Heather. Careful and quick-witted. Gray Egg is telling scary stories to the younger cats. Ripple Pelt is staring off into space. Curly Dapple has been sleeping a lot more as of late. Lily Patch just just died. That that's what you missed. Slipkit asks Ripple Pelt what is what it asks Ripple Pelt what it is like to be so old. You guys are next for apprentices. Moss Kit wants some cat to talk to. Someone pay attention to the baby. And Midnight Kit yowls as loud as they can. So let's send out the apprentices on their first patrols with their mentors. See what they get up to. Field Paw can go a Serpent Star. Bison. Field Paw has their view blocked by the long grass and the flat ground. But the rumbles they feel in their paw pads, the footsteps, the bell is so loud they can be felt through the ground. It all stresses just how huge the Thunder Beasts are. Uh, gonna send out Blue Paw with Pond Tunnel. Pontanel is surprised when Blue Paw makes a mistake on a simple move Pontanel thought they had mastered. This is literally your first patrol. <laughs> Before Pontanel can say anything, Blue Paw runs out of the training grounds. When Pon Pontanel finds them huddled in camp, they sob out a confession. They will never be ready to be a warrior. Honey, this is your first day out of camp. Everyone hating Moss Kit due to their hatred of Moss Clan. Interesting. Bushjaw, Splinter Jumble, and Sil Valley can go out. Suspicious Paw Prince. Splinter Jumble follows the Paw Prince to a trespassing rogue and confronts them, fur puffed out and scowling. Intimidated by the confidence and number of cats, the rogue gives in and leaves without a fight. Gardenia Fluff and Spruce Shadow. Might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques. Unfortunately, neither cat steps up the teach. A uh, pale feather can go out. New set of tunnels. Must have been an abandoned badger set. No one has been here in a while. This could be a good location to return to. Chervil and missile shiver. Yeah, I feel really bad for Blue Paw. Notice the suspicious paw prints. And Trivel follows the Paw Prince this time. Same same thing. The rogues here just, just know that Viper Clan are dangerous. <laughs> they just keep leaving. Squirrel Dream can go with Pepper Pollen and Woolshine. Another tunnel. Oh! It seems this hole is home to a cranky Wolverine. A fact that the patrol learns very quickly when Pepper Pollen cries out in pain. The cats back out of the tunnel quickly, but not quickly enough to save their clanmate. Pepper Pollen just died. Um. Uh, I'm kind of going to keep Lily Patch here because I know for sure that Serpent Star is going to come here. And she's going to stay with her evil husband till the end. And honestly, she probably had some evil in her. As sweet as she seemed. Uh, hi, Pepper Pollen. 
what do you guys think about Pepper Pollen? Is she gonna stay with her family or is she gonna is she gonna go to Star Clan? I'll make Pepper a poll. So I'll make that a poll. And let's finish up the patrols. Um, Slight can go out with Dayash. Dayash catches the scent of a fox. And <laughs> Slight robs a fox. We, we once again take candy from a baby. Yeah, she was really pretty. Sad to see it. we lost her torty. Freckleheart, Ryako, and Snipclad. Uh, trembles beneath Ryako's paws. Snipclad, are you gonna save your son? Even though Ryako made it out, they swear someone pushed them and blamed Freckleheart. Freckleheart denies it and says they should get Ryako back to camp to get their injury looked at. Um... That's interesting. That is very interesting. I don't know how to read that, but Ryako has a broken back. Um, let me see what the poll ended up as. Just barely is going to Star Clan, so let's go fix that. The new, the new layout keeps throwing me off. So Pepper's gonna go to Star Clan. Um, I'm very concerned because either Freckle just did a bad, or Snip Cloud just did a bad to his own son, or maybe it was like a Dark Forest cat. I don't know. <laughs> Could have been Freckleheart. You're feeling gloomy. So you could be sad that your brother is, is blaming you. Interesting. Does Snip even have a relationship with Ryako yet? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Um, interesting. Very interesting. Also, we're halfway through. I see births and deaths. Um, Barry Snow's infection is gone. Ripple Pelt has gotten white cough. Serpent Star lost a life after falling into a river. Splinter Jumble has gotten sp a stomach ache. Coyote Moss is watching a pride as Slippaw is named and given to Dayash. Oh, the uh, births and deaths are probably just talking about the cats that died last soon. Mosspaw has been waiting for this moment. They'll finally be a mediator apprentice and be guided by Ochreform for how to solve the clan's issues. Their one goal in life. So Mosspaw wanted to be a mediator. Very cute. Coyote Moss is watching with pride as Midnight Paw is named and given to Freckleheart to apprentice under. Roast in peace, Pepper Pollen. Yeah, it might have been an accident. Very interesting to keep an eye on, though. Serpent Star beg bargains a Star Clan, begging them to send Pepper Pollen back. Very upset at the loss of his daughter. Lost a life to falling in a river. Yeah, there's another Midnight Paw now. <laughs> uh, Snip Cloud is hoping for a break. Pike Fleck is thinking about strange two-leg object they saw recently. Okraforn is feeling down. You just got an apprentice. 
Moss Paw is giving some advice to Silvalli. So Moss Paw can do some mediating with Silvalli. Uh, Coyote Moss daydreams about being a warrior. Think about a strange two-lake object they saw recently. I'm going to check your relationships and see who we can mediate with. Oh, she really loves Snip Cloud again. Um, it was down to romantic life before. I think with Sil Valley. Maybe it was Freckle Spot. Who knows? Um. I'm going to say that she's mediating between Squirrel Dream and and his mom because his mom does have a very small amount of dislike and let's see if we can get rid of that. Mostly gone. Barry Snow tries to set a good example. Gardenia Fluff wants to be chosen as a new deputy. Vervain Sheep wonders how Slip Kid is doing. Yeah, it could have been Freckle Spot that pushed him. Slight tries to set a good example for younger cats. Missile Shiver saw a kitty pet rolling around a two leg garden. Chervil wants to speak to Ochreforn about something. So since Chervil is speaking to Ochreforn, even though you're feeling down, um, I actually noticed this before we started stream. But these two like each other. So since Trivel is talking to Ochreforn, let's mediate. Didn't really do much, but you know. Something to do. Rye Echo had a nightmare involving the rushing river nearby. Interesting that you had that right when Serpent Star lost a life. Squirrel Dream is smiling warmly at their clanmates. Frecklehart is encouraging the deputy to be more harsh. Huh. Um, guys, I don't think Freckleheart is, is staying the sweet girl right now. I think she might be falling down a path. Freckleheart may be talking to Grandma Freckle, Freckle Spot now. Might, might be possessed at this point. Who knows? Woolshine seems to be ordering their fellow clanmates around. Spruce Shadow is thinking about a strange two like object they saw recently. Bushjaw is sparring with some clanmates. Pond Tunnel is playing a prank on Missile Shiver. Splinter Jumble is playing a prank on Pike Fleck. Uh, Pale Feather bargains to Star Clan, begging them to send Pepper Pollen back. Let me check the relationships. I mean, she has a little bit of like and a little bit of dislike for him. Day Ash goes to help a kit that stumbled over their own paws. Well, our last kit kits have become apprentices. Yeah, I could probably um, edit Freckle Spot into the dark forest here using a random random dead cat outside the clan. Fleck Heather is thinking about a strange two leg object they saw. Blue Paw got caught trying to sneak out of camp without a warrior. Uh, Field Paw is playing a prank on Woolshine. Slip Paw is playing a prank on Slip Cloud. Midnight Paw is worried others are judging them. And Grey Egg is feeling rather cross today. Ribblepelt is telling scary stories to younger cats. Curly Dapple is wondering what living with two legs must be like. And let's go on patrols. We have some new apprentices that will be going out on their first day out. Midnight Paw is going out with Freckleheart. Oh, that is interesting. The unrelated Midnight Paw is apprentice to Freckleheart, who is Midnight Paw in Galaxy Clan's sister. Interesting. We see a fish. And Midnight Paw catches it. <laughs> Midnight Paw really does look like Midnight Paw and Galaxy Clan. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then Slip Paw can go with Day Ash. Day Ash brings the patrol to a halt and asks what's wrong. They reveal that they've been having a hard time sleeping. Their dreams are filled with shadows and images. Day Ash listens sympathetically, gently nodding as the paw purrs out their troubles, pours out their troubles, until the apprentice eventually runs out of words. They've been dealing with a lot, apparently, and while Day Ash isn't too sure what to do, they can offer support and the time away from Slip Paw's troubles. And that's just and just that is already enough to make Slip Paw's ears stop drooping. Very cute. Poor baby. Dark Forest, leave them alone. Um, Lil Shine can go out with Spruce Shadow and Squirrel Dream. Hunt the Border. Lil Shine's suggested hunting grounds don't work out, not that anyone blames him for it. Yeah, Right Echo might have been might have been ready to get Midnight Paw as an apprentice, but Right Echo did just have an apprentice, so who knows? Uh, Blue Paw can go a Pond Tunnel. We see Bison. Blue Paw refuses to believe that Bison could possibly be so huge. They also refuse to get any closer to them and start an argument with Pond Tunnel about it. I don't think Blue Paw and Pond Tunnel get along that well. Uh, Snip Cloud, let's just send you out alone. Scent of a Fox. Slip Cloud approaches the kill, fur puffed up. The swift fox rumbles, but with a hiss, both animals agree to disagree, feeding from opposite ends of the calf without further trouble. Slip Cloud is able to find some decent scraps to carry back to camp, though with only them, they can't bring back as much as they'd like to. Slip Cloud just went up to a fox and took prey right in front of its face. Okay, then. Yeah, there's a lot of bluish gray furred cats in this clan. So Valley can go with Shervel. Good chance to practice new fighting techniques. Both cats have a nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks. Serpent Star can go with Field Paw and bring along Bushjaw. We see a bird. And we missed the bird. We have so much prey. <laughs> Missile Shiver, Gardenia Fluff. Missile Shiver stops Gardenia Fluff and asks for their advice with something. Maybe it's a stupid idea, their vague plan Missile Shiver has. Been thinking about for getting more fresh kill, but Gardenia Fluff reassures them, making them feel listened to and valued. We love that. The most chill fox in existence for a snip cloud. Uh, slight. Let's see what you get up to. Large dog. I'm scared. They don't feel like they have anything like the skill or power, but slight would give their life for Viper Clan, charging in to courageously lead the dog away from the Viper Clan territory. Each booming bark has to be the herald of their doom. Each rancid breath, the last thing they'll ever smell. But somehow, eventually, limbs and lungs burning, they leap to refuge. Good job. That was scary. And Pale Feather and Splinter Jumbo can go out. See a small burrow. And we flush a gopher out of it. A lot of plot armor that, <laughs> that moon. And time to time skip. I see births and deaths. Um, Berry Snow pads along on all four legs for the first time in a long time wincing. Their healed broken bone has definitely left the leg weaker, but it's manageable as far as they're concerned. That's good. Missile Shiver's running nose has finally stopped running. So Valley is expecting kits. Snip Cloud is gonna have more babies. Snip Cloud went for a long walk this morning deep in thought. I don't know how he feels about having more babies. Yeah, Slight definitely does deserve a reward for surviving that. Uh, Pike Flex Sprain has healed. Pale Feather was caught breaking the warrior code. I wonder what Pale Feather did. 
Splinter Jumble is glad that their stomach ache is finally gone. Blue Paw believes that they're part of a prophecy. And you got White Cough. Coyote Moss's mangled tail is fully healed. Coyote Moss has a stomach ache. And Slip Paw is free of fleas at last. More Still Valley kits. And let's take a quick look at everyone. Enjoying the warm sun. Wants everyone to stop pitying them. They're fine. Well, you currently have a weak leg and white cough. Like, the weak leg is a permanent one, but you do have white cough. Gray egg is sharing their wisdom. Midnight Paw is talking to himself. I just noticed you're rebellious. And you're insecure. Playing a prank on Gardenia Fluff. Field Paw is eavesdropping on Snip Cloud. I wonder if that was sent by Serpent Star to do that. Blue Paw is chattering at the birds in the trees above. Thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Day Ash is appalled at a clammate for lying. Pale Feather was wondering what living with two legs must be like. I wonder if Pale Feather was eating kitty pet, kitty pet food. And that's why they broke the, uh, the code. Splinter Jumble wants to critique Feckle Heart's fighting techniques. Pond Tunnel is play fighting with friends. Bushjaw is looking around camp. Spruce Shadow is thinking about a strange two leg object. Woolshine is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Freckle Heart snaps at some apprentices after they pull a harmless prank. Squirrel Dream is feeling happy. Right Echo saw some kitty pets playing. Strange two leg object. Playing a prank on Midnight Paw. Slight is making sure that everyone has eaten well. Ravane Sheep is feeling a bit ill. Gardenia Fluff is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Berry Snow is giving advice to Day Ash. Congratulations on being healed again. Slavali is playing a prank on Snip Cloud. Coyote Moss is thinking about their old clanmates. Moss Paw was scolded for taking sides and mediating arguments recently. <laughs> Moss Paw is like, but but I like this side more. <laughs> Ogrefawn saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. Meeting arguments, so who would be arguing? I'm gonna I'm gonna mediate these two because they did ha just have that fight. So, looks like Mosspaw did good. Pike Fleck is giving advice to Snip Cloud. Interesting. <laughs> Pike Fleck is going to Snip Cloud and being like, hey, can you be a better dad? <laughs> Maybe don't have more kids. <laughs> so Valley is like, feels like a lot. I think it'll be a six kit litter. Snip Cloud feels a frill imagining the chaos of a large-scale battle. Serpent Star is playing a prank on Coyote Moss. I don't know if we're gonna get Snip Star this time, guys. Getting close to the end. Uh, Woolshine, Squirrel Dream, and Day, Day Ash can go out with Slip Paw. Old Badger Set. Slip Paw scrambles into the end for a look and comes nose to nose with its occupant. It's only by the grace of Star Clan that they're able to redirect the speed to twist around just as fast. But be careful, dude. Pale Feather, Freckle Heart, and Midnight Paw can go out. Shadow of a Fish. This year ends on Moon 72. And Midnight Paw catches the fish. Spruce Shadow, you can go out alone. We see a rabbit, and we catch it.
Chervil, Fairy Snow. We see a fox. It's another kit fox. We once again steal candy from a baby. Serpent Star, Field Paw. And Gardenia Fluff can go out. The ground trembles beneath Field Paw's paws. Gardenia Fluff purrs to Field Paw, keeping him calm as the patrol carefully digs down to them. Field Paw blinks up at them, holding on to their presence in the scary situation. Poor baby. Slight Missile Shiver. Good chance to practice teamwork. Nice practice session. Everyone, everyone's saying to send Serpent out alone. Serpent has an apprentice right now, guys. Splinter Jumble can go out. Scent of a fox. And you got bit. Both animals end up limping away from the kill. At least you're alive. <laughs> the prey pile is just a prey mountain now. Bushjaw Snip Cloud. Galaxy Clan! Um, Snipcloud is on this patrol. <laughs> I'm gonna antagonize. Despite considering them allies, these cats are no friends of Viper Clan. Your patrol glares and hisses at them from the side of the border until Galaxy Clan patrols and continues on their way, confused and wary. Coyote Moss can go out of Sil Valley and Pond Tunnel. An opening to what seems to be a new set of tunnels. Pond Tunnel rushes into the tunnels with a gleeful meow. A new place to explore and discover. The tunnel abruptly ends, though. Pike Fleck is always amused by the plantain's enduring cheerfulness. And we get him. On to Moon 69. And let's see what happens. I see births and deaths. It's probably just about Sil Valley. We'll see. It's very long this time. Okraforn travels the J Clan to resolve some recent personal disputes. The meeting goes better than expected, and Okraforn returns with a plan to solve the issue for good. Ripple Pelt no longer has White Cough. Ripple Pelt was helping reinforce the camp walls when they got a thorn stuck in their paw. Oh, oh. Uh, no snip star, guys. Um. Coyote moss, berry snow, snip cloud, pike fleck, and slight drowned after the camp became flooded. We have no medicine, cat. I'm gonna have to yank your gray egg out of retirement again. Um, chat has not caught up with, with seeing that Snipcloud is dead. Everyone is chatting Snipstar. Um, so Valley hopes the litter will be small. They feel overwhelmed at the idea of a big litter. They decide to move into the nursery. That's so sad. So Valley's gonna have kits after Snipcloud is dead. Um... I think Slight and Coyote Moss can go to Star Clan. I think the other three are going to stay down there. Uh, Rye Echo can feel the infection from their back and feels the fever coming over them. A random loner died. Splinter Jumble's skin is starting to feel feverish around the area of their wound. Serpent Star wails at the body of Berry Snow. Ravain Sheep fusses gently with Fairy Snow's fur. Slavali lies next to Snipcloud as the clan sits vigil for them. Field Paw is particularly shaken by this. Gardenia Fluff has taken over as deputy. And let's, uh... Hey, guys. Uh, Snipcloud has no regrets, guys. 
<laughs> you were like, does he get Dark Forest or or uh, Star Clan? Well, he immediately has no regrets. Normally, they have the the thing that says like they're distraught upon being sent to the Dark Forest. This guy has no regrets, so you know. Pike Fleck is snarling at the shadows. I think I'm going to keep him here because of the Dark Forest affinity and also because it would be interesting. Maybe he's staying with Snip Cloud. We'll see. Um, I'm going to send you to Star Clan. You, you just joined the clan and you did like nothing. You don't deserve to be here. Um, Barry Snow starting to find themselves wait waiting in the muck of the shadowed forest. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you here because you're a little bit concerning. You're not like you're kind of more morally gray. If I had to be honest, thinking back to things that you did, you did definitely do some questionable stuff, but nothing like you were dating a, a bad. I'm gonna keep you here for now just because we we kind of do need more cats in the dark forest for Viper Clan. <laughs> Um, I'm going to send you to Star Clan, though. Sniff Cloud's last interaction with Galaxy Clan was having a fight with them at the border. Um, so that sure is a, that sure is an event. People are going to freak out when the next year of Galaxy Clan comes out, and that's revealed. Serpent Star wishes they were still in their nest sleeping. Viper Clan is automatically sent to the Dark Forest because their guide is in the Dark Forest. Gardenia Fluff saw a two-legged kit playing with a kitty pet. Okafor saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. It, Gardenia Fluff, congratulations on becoming deputy, by the way. Your only former... I'm, I'm just like... <laughs> One second. I, I don't... I don't like this new... Hi. Was it a different water paw? I is it a dead one? I could have sworn that water paw's mentor was Elk Flick. Did... Did Gardenia Fluff just become deputy on a... On a... On a technicality. Like, did Gardenia Fluff get, um, auto set as a water paws mentor and didn't actually mentor him? Because if so, that just means that Serpent Star just did not care about the previous uh, rule. I sent the guide to the Dark Forest because this was a more evil-looking clan. Yeah, we don't have a medicine cat right now. I'm going to keep Gardenia Fluff because, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you really like Gardenia Fluff, so this is just Serpent Star showing favoritism in his old age and not caring about the rules. Moss Paws, Morning Coyote Moss. So Valley misses the warmth that Pike Fleck brought into their life, not thinking about Snip Cloud. I'm sure you're thinking about him too. Ravain Sheep is eavesdropping on Rye Echo. Missile Shiver is giving advice to Grey Egg. I, I don't see an issue with Gardenia Fluff Deputy. Like, Serpent Star likes her, and I don't think he would care about breaking the rules. 
Shrivel is walking on the edge of a very tall cliff. Right Echo is thinking about strange two-leg object they saw recently. Squirrel Dream is hoping Grey Egg will tell them a new story. Guys, I'm not I'm not re I'm not reincarnating or bringing back Snip Cloud. <laughs> um Will Shine bargains with Star Clan begging them to bring Snip Cloud back. Interesting. Spruce Shadow slips out of camp to visit Barry Snow's grave. Bushjaw wants to get to know Ryeko better. Pond Tunnel wants to critique Squirrel Dream's fighting techniques. Yeah, his new babies won't know him. Splinter Jumble is giving advice to Ripple Pelt. Pale Feather wants to compliment Spruce Shadow's fighting techniques. Day Ash wants nothing more than to live by the Warrior Code. Fleck Heather has the apprentices very engaged in a tall tale. Blue Paw will never forget Barry Snow. Oh, Barry Snow's kits are only nine moons old. <laughs> Field Paw misses the warmth that Barry Snow brought into their life. This is sad. Slip Paw slips out of camp to visit Coyote Moss's grave. Midnight Paw will never forget Coyote Moss. Grey Egg slips out of camp to visit Pike Flex Grave. Ripple Pelt is playing a prank on Shrivel. Curly Dapple is feeling silly. I'm so sorry, Grey Egg. I'm I'm so sorry. You 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 have to be a medicine cat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I keep taking you out of retirement. This <laughs> this poor cat. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be going on border patrols and trying to see if we can find a medicine cat. Uh, Scroll Dream, Midnight Paw, and Freckle Heart can go out. Moss Clan. I'm going to antagonize. <laughs> Despite considering them allies, these cats are no friends of Viper Clan. Your patrol glares and hisses at them from the side of the border until Moss Clan patrol continues on their way, confused and wary. Day Ash and Slip Paw. Um, fat rabbit on the other side of the Moss Clan border. Pounce without hesitation, they glance around, rabbit hanging from their nuzzle, their muzzle. Seems there aren't any Moss Clan cats nearby. Pond Tunnel can go out. New set of tunnels. Entrance to a set of tunnels Viper Clan already uses. Could be helpful in the future. I'm gonna take a sip of water. If Serpent dies next moon, Snip, <laughs> Snip Cloud was so robbed. <laughs> Chervil, Spoo Shadow can go out. Large dog gathers the courage and valiantly tries to lead the dog away. With such a small group of cats, they can only lead it a short, a short distance, but it's better than nothing. Field Paw, Missile Shiver, and Bush Jaw can go out. Galaxy Clan Apprentice. No. That could be interesting for drama, but no. I don't want to. <laughs> Gardenia Fluff and Pale Feather. While on patrol, pa Pale Feather noses suspicious paw prints. Trespassing Rogue. Shine can go out. Quick check on the border. Particular spot where a herd of buffalo have wandered recently along the border with J Clan. Remarks it heads home. Simple but necessary mission. Well, no new cats. There's still drama. Juniper was gathered.
On to Moon 70. We're close to the end. I see more births and deaths. Please tell me it's just Silvalli's litter. Uh, Ripple Pelt Small Cut has healed up nicely. Gray Egg went for a long fought. Oh! Gray Egg fell into a hidden burrow and was buried alive. We once again have no medicine cat. Silvalli so purrs sadly over the litter of free kits that Star Clan is blessed with them. Silvalli so always has has free kits. They see Snip Cloud in their little paw pads in their ears and eyes and mews. That's so sad. Right Echo swears they've been cleaning it, but their wound has begun to fester, fester like weak old prey. Fleck Heather's head damage has healed. Blue Paw no longer has white cough. Blue Paw was seen taking food from a two leg. We have a mountain of prey, Blue Paw. Field Paw feels more like themselves. Moss Paw is sore and uncomfortable in the effort it takes to get anywhere. Serpent Star wails at the body of Grey Egg. Why did Serpent Star. <laughs> Why was Serpent Star the one that grieved Grey Egg and not Ripple Pelt? I'm sad. We have no medicine cats. Um. Scary. Um, I'm gonna actually start at the end. I want to see the babies. Little Kit snuggles up to the belly of Sil Valley. Little polite boy. We had another girl, and her name was Rattle Kit. Charming. And we have Stork Kit. Who has the mask pattern, actually. Who's sweet. Very cute. Do you have boots? <laughs> Are you gonna grow to end up looking like Kale? Uh, I'm still gonna draw the snips of alley kits for the video. Uh, Curly Dapple is complaining about their aching joints. Ripple Pelt knows that they are helping the clan more. Knows they are helping the clan more now. Do we want to say that Ripple Pelt is going to become a medicine cat temporarily, or are they just helping the clan in general? Midnight Paw was found napping in the warrior's den. Slip Paw finds that they are really good at making their mentor laugh. Field Paw can't wait to get back to training. Blue Paw is playing a prank on Bushjaw. Like, I don't think any of these apprentices feel like they would want to be a medicine cat. At least based on these prompts. Fleck Heather sat all night at Grey Egg's vigil. Day Ash also did the same. Pale Feather is worried that others are judging them. Splinter Jumble wonders how Rattle Kid is doing. Pond Tunnel is eavesdropping on Squirrel Dream. Bushjaw is grateful to Moss Paw for their mediation. Spruce Shadow has received several invitations to share tongues and is deciding which to take. Yeah, we can make Temp Med Cat Ripple Pelt. Uh, Will Shine tries to put on a brave face to their clanmates. I see the, the Rye Echo Med Cat arc, but Rye Echo is currently um, very hurt. Uh, Freckle Heart is lashing their tail furiously. Interesting. Squirrel Dream has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tail. Rye Echo wishes their leader would choose them to go on a quest. Chervil saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. Missile Shiver tries to set a good example. Vervain Sheep wants to critique Missile Shiver's fighting techniques. So Valley tries to set a good example. Moss Paw is playing a prank on Vervain Sheep. Ochrefhorn wants to solve a dispute with another clan. Gardenia Fluff is assigning cats to a hunting patrol. And Serpent Star is thinking about a strange two-leg object they saw. 
okay, you know you're helping the clan more now. I'm gonna make you a medicine cat temporarily. Please don't die. This is, this sure is a stream. Um, Squirrel Dream, Missile Shiver, and Field Paw can go out. Suspicious Paw Prints. Trespassing Rogue. Squirrel Dream sets up a trap by using grass to cover an abandoned rabbit burrow. It sends the startled intruder yowling as they first fall and then flee Viper Clan territory. Woolshine can go out with Midnight Paw and Freckle Heart. Moss Clan sent straight into the territory. Moss Clan is their ally, but this is a bit suspicious. We're not allies of Moss Clan. They this is a trespass that should not be tolerated and frankly should be reciprocated. Your patrol brilliantly spreads their own scent on Moss Clan's territory, ruining the clearly marked borderlines. Pond Tunnel can go out with Blue Paw. Blue Paw starts an argument with Pond Tunnel about the technique they're working on. Tired of hearing about how they don't understand, Pond Tunnel swings around, performing a flawless rendition of the technique. Chastened, Blue Paw lowers their gaze, but follow Pond Tunnel's way of doing things then. These two really do not get along. Uh, Pale Feather can go out with Day Ash and Slip Paw. Um, Pale Feather spots a set of animal tracks and calls the other cats over to give them tracking demonstration. They show Slip Paw how crisp of the edges of the paw prints are, how there hasn't been enough time for anything to disturb the perfection of the record of passage. Slip Paw asks if those aren't cat paw prints, though. Pale Feather murps, yes, and good spotting, but the, lessons isn't, the lesson isn't what made these. It's about how to judge how long it's been since they've been made. Valuable information if they've had prey and not a clamate. If this had been prey and not a clan mate. Yeah, we really should be doing border patrols. Um, Gardenia Fluff can go out with Spruce Shadow. Loner, who's interested in joining the clan. Uh, ultimately decide not to join. We met Panini. Panini? Panini, you're so cute. <laughs> Oh, you were loving and a lore keeper and a good speaker. I don't know if you would have been a good fit for Viper Clan, but you were very cute. Uh, Chervil, Bushjaw, and Fleck Heather can go out. We're not allies of Galaxy Clan. Despite considering them allies, your cats are no friends of Viper Clan. These cats are no friends of Viper Clan. Your patrol glares and hisses from their side of the border until the Galaxy Clan patrol continues on their way, confused and wary. Ripple Pelt. Can't say it's fun swiping away snow to scrounge for stems of roots and wilted dandelions below, but what matters currently is that it's possible. So. This is a... This is a lot. <laughs> Second to last moon. Ripple Pelt's bad leg is feeling particularly sore this moon. Vervain Sheep picks themselves up out of their nest and begins the day anew, a fresh conviction. Woolshine has green cough. Rushjaw was speaking calmly to a cat from Moss Clan. Splinter Jumble's infection is gone. It's neither a mystery nor a surprise, but Viper Clan are happy to celebrate Day Ash and Missile Shiver becoming mates regardless. That might be too big of an age gap, and I might pretend that didn't happen. 21 moons. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm personally gonna... I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen, because I personally don't like the age gap. Chervil's feeling extremely sore from the long distances they've run today. And Stork Kit fell into a river but was saved by Pond Tunnel. <laughs> Next loner we meet is going to be named Chowder. <laughs> Uh, Serpent Star is thinking about a strange two-leg object they saw recently. Gardenia Fluff feels overworked. 
Rippelpelt is grateful to Mosspaw for their me mediation. Okraforn saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Mosspaw refused to follow their mentor's recent orders due to their own morals. Interesting for a mediator to do that. Also, you were grateful for Mosspaw, and I kind of want to... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't don't mind me. Um, so Valley spends time watching fish in the nearby river. Stork Kit, I'm gonna be just like my daddy <laughs> in the river. That's horrible. <laughs> also, so Valley is spending time watching fish in the nearby river. That is sad considering Snip Cloud. Ravane Sheep saw some kitty pets playing with moss balls. Missile Shivers tries to set a good example for younger cats. Chervil saw some wandering two legs. Riot Echo wants to get to know Little Kit better. So Squirrel Dream is playing a prank on Sil Valley. Freckle Heart is craving the taste of frog. Woolshine is eavesdropping on Curly Dapple. Spruce Shadow thinks they're going crazy. Bushjaw is eavesdropping on Rattle Kit. Pond Tunnel pounced on a stray leaf with satisfaction. Splinter Jumble is feeling a bit ill. Pale Feather saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Day Ash is wondering, is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Fleck Heather is looking forward to today. Blue Paw is taking extra time to finish their task for today. Field Paw is gossiping. Slip Paw is feeling proud. Midnight Paw is playing a prank on Day Ash. Curly Dapple is assisting with camp cleanup. Stork Kit wants Woolshine to be happy. Don't fall in rivers. You are sweet and oddly observant. Rattle Kit is hatching a plan to sneak out of camp and play. Noisy never sits still. And Little Kit is adamantly refusing to take their nap. Babies. Viper Clan is a mess this year. And yes, Snipclad did die. Uh, Day Ash can go out with Slip Paw, and you can bring along Freckle Heart and Midnight Paw, I guess. Suspicious Paw Prints. Midnight Paw follows the Paw Prints for a trespassing rogue, confronts them, fur puffed up and scowling. Intimidated by their confidence and the number of cats, the rogue gives in and leaves without a fight. Field Paw can go out of Bush Jaw. Moss Clan sent us straight into the territory. I'm just going to proceed. Eventually stumbling upon the Moss Clan Medicine Cat, it seems there's an herb shortage and the Medicine Cat was hoping to borrow from Viper Clan's own stores to treat a badly wounded warrior. We escort the Medicine Cat to the Viper Clan camp, but I don't know how, how Viper Clan's going to react to that. <laughs> Chervil. Kitty pet who is interested in joining the clan. Kitty pets are not welcome. Pond Tunnel can go with Blue Paw. Are you guys going to have a better patrol? Wounded cat near the Thunder Path. Already, already gone. Okay. Well, passes on the way to camp, which is sad. I feel so bad for the people that keep joining stream for the first time and finding out that Snipclad died. Uh, Vervain Sheep can go out with Squirrel Dream and M Missile Shiver. New set of tunnels. Stops the patrol before they can move to enter the tunnels. Missile Shiver concludes that a Wolverine has claimed this one as its home. Very concerning. Fleck Heather and Spruce Shadow. We see paw prints. They reflect Heather's own paw prints. And Gardenia Fluff can go out with Pale Feather. Small dog on the border of Viper Clan territory. And we chase the dog away. Uh, 
sometimes that how it be when like when the events are random. You can't always have plot armor. Ripple Pelt pads along, mouth open slightly as they scent for any traces of herbs. Oh, they can smell some raspberries nearby, but it seems they're just over the border. They hesitate only momentarily before crossing. They quickly gather some berries, making sure to leave plenty for Galaxy Clan's medicine cat if they need some too. <laughs> and last moon. We're almost done, guys. Actually, I want to check on uh, these guys real quick. Wondering if they'll still remain deputy after returning. Well, at this point, yes, I would make you deputy if you return and Serpent Star is still around. Water Paw refuses to let themselves relax for even a moment. And last time skip. I see births and deaths. I'm scared. Uh, Missile Shiver was trying to fluff up their nest when they saw a fawn inside their bedding. Ryoka's festering wound seems to be gotten a bit better. Woolshine died of green cough. There goes the little prince. Splinter Jumble's bite wound has healed, but they'll always carry evidence. Chervil's soreness has abated. Blue Paw was named Blue Branch, and we'll have to send them out on their trial. Slip Paw was named Slipfish. <laughs> It's a funny name. We'll also have to send them out to the trial. Honored for their planning. Mossplaw is no longer sore. So many new warriors. Um, Midnight Paw has become Midnight Splash. Honored for their wit. Stork Kid is scolded after sneaking out of camp. Uh, rest in peace, my boy. I'm... Uh, I have no reason to say why you should be here, but I'm going to leave you here. I feel like we're sending a lot of cats to Star Clan when this is meant to be the Dark Forest Clan. Uh, Serpent Star misses the warmth that Woolshine brought into their life. Gardenia Fluff is hoping for a break. Ripple Pelt is worried others are judging them. Okraform wishes their clanmates would just talk to each other. <laughs> Mosspaw is feeling silly. I kind of love Mosspaw. Wait, I need to do the, the trials before I forget. Um, Midnight Splash. A shameless and ghost sense. Please survive. Survive, please. Okay, uh, something happened with Galaxy Clan, but that's not canon. <laughs> But Midnight Splash has survived and came back with a split tongue. Full Warrior has caught the snake. Yeah, Stork is kind of a menace. Slipfish is playing a prank on Vervain Sheep, and you are insecure and a skilled mediator. Interesting. Wonder if you picked that up from your sibling. And let's send you out on your trial. Okay, non-canon patrol, and they did survive. They brought back the snake. They got their split tongue. And Slipfish, you have an amazing name. Very cute for you. <laughs> uh, she has a fun name. And Blue Branch, also playing a prank. You're playful and incredibly clever. Also, these two became warriors pretty quickly. Uh, wrong one. And trial time. J-Clan. Not, not canon, but it did get worse. And you survived too. Everyone has survived their trials. Also, Mosspaw is feeling silly, and someone said that Mosspaw is definitely mediating Serpent and Ripple again. So Valley wants to critique Freckleheart's fighting techniques. Ravain Sheep is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Missile Shiver was startled by a shrew. Shrivel suffered a bellyache after being dared to swallow a beetle. Right Echo is in the medicine den. Well, yeah. Broken back. Squirrel Dream is basking in a sun ray in the camp clearing. Freckleheart is feeling underappreciated. Spruce Shadow gave, the badger, gave a badger ride to Little Kit and is now begged by more kittens to do the same. 
Bushjaw predicts the weather by observing the sky and the behavior of prey. Very cute. Pond Tunnel saw a two-legged kit playing with a kitty pet. Splinter Jumble has more scars now and helped bury Wolfshine, leaving their favorite prey at the grave. Very sad. Pillfeather is hoping Serpent Star doesn't assign them to Dawn Patrol. Day Ash teaches the kits about morals until they all fall asleep. Fleck Heather is playing a prank on Silvalli. Be nice to her. She just lost a child and her mate. Blue Branch. We already saw we already saw these guys. Field Paw teaches Rattle Kid a new trick that they learned. Curly Dapple is wondering if Kitty Pet Life is really so bad, and he's still kicking. I would make Ryoko a med cat, but he is still in the medicine den, like, hurt right now, so it really wouldn't do anything. Stork Kid is pestering older cats to play with them. Stork Kid is a little menace. I kind of love him. <laughs> Rattle Kit is hiding from other cats. And Little Kit is whimpering in their sleep. I'm, I'm gonna look at, at some cats in the dark forest real quick. Hey, Snip Cloud. Discussing their plans eagerly. I see. <laughs> um, so for the future of Snipcloud, now that he is dead, I might mostly focus on what Snipcloud gets up to in the Galaxy Clan save. Because that would be easier on me for a note-taking aspect, but we can take things into account when we do check in over here. Very interesting. Pike Fleck is thinking about walking in the dreams of Little Kit. And then Little Kit was whimpering in their sleep. Interesting. But yeah, uh, patrol time. Bushjaw, Day Ash, and Squirrel Dream can go out. Please find a medicine cat. Yes, please join. Moon Ember joined the clan. Please don't be a former kitty pet. Formerly a rogue. So many former rogues that have healing skills. Um, I, I can retire Ripple Pelt now. Hello, Moon Ember. Very pretty name. You're 90 moons old. You're insecure, a great hunter, and a great speaker. You used to wander, helping those where you could, and eventually found the clan. I wonder if you used to uh, hang out with Valley and Scorch in Moss Clan. But hey, we found a medicine cat. <laughs> also, sorry if I seem like I'm rushing. I kind of want to finish stream soon because the dogs need to go out. Spruce Shadow, Shervil, and Pale Feather can go out. We can go on random ones now. We see a bird. Small amount of prey. Good job. Fleck Heather and Freckleheart and Pond Tunnel. A cat begging for their house folk. I'm sorry we do not we do not interact with kitty pets. Missile Shiver, Gardenia Fluff, and Field Paw. Field Paw has like never gone out with Serpent Star. Practice teamwork, and we have a nice practice session. Field Paw really gets into it. Vervain Sheep, Splinter Jumble. We see the windmills. And we get birds. And Moon Ember. We get Plantain. So yeah, um... Gonna be a lot of new art. That was interesting. Definitely a very interesting year. We have a new deputy, Gardenia Fluff, because Snip Cloud straight up drowned along with Pike, uh, Pike Fleck and, and Slight and Coyote Moss. Um, I don't have time to check all the relationships at the end, but I will check Ochre and Gardenia's. Uh, still no romantic like on Gardenia's, for uh, Ochre form for Gardenia, but you do still have a crush on Ochre. 
So I'm going to be drawing gardenia fluff for the bonus art. Uh, also going to be drawing Moon Ember. We didn't get to see much of her, but she will get art. Very fitting for cats that have the, the rosettes to be named Moon. Um, and Moss Paw is going to get some art. She's baby. I love her. And no one died specifically to their trials, but we definitely did have a lot of death. We lost two medicine cats, technically. Yeah, Snip used all his plot armor up on stealing prey from foxes. But I will say that some of the stuff that did happen can fit into some stuff that happened in Galaxy Clan, and I'll leave it at that. But yeah, um, thank you guys for joining. Um, I don't have the time to check everyone's relationships. I have to go walk the dogs and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for joining. Uh, sorry for the lags here and there, but yeah. Um, my thoughts are kind of everywhere right now, so I'm probably not making sense. The next stream will be Moss Clam. Not sure if that will be tomorrow, but we'll see. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.